Hello, I'm Argama Witch, and welcome to Argama's Salon. <laughs> Argama's Viroid Salon. Today, I'm doing just simple, straight, long, straight hair. I had someone ask me about how to do long, straight hair in the back and how to cover it up. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so, what I'm doing right now is I did a procedural hair group. And I'm just trying to get the shape that I want. And I usually kind of go with this, like, vase shape. So what I want is for it to uh, match around the head and then to kind of, like, swoop in and then, like, swoop out. So I'm gonna, gonna come in a little bit and then go swoop out. You see kind of like my own hair. It puts in uh, by the ears, by the neck, and then it swoops out. And then it comes back in a little bit at the tip. Yep. Yep. And that's what I'm doing here. It's pretty much the same way I did my own hair. <laughs> um, yeah, I just move this over to the back. And look at the from top view and adjust the intervals. And the placement. And the number of hairs to do, 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 fill that in. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Uh, we're gonna widen this a little bit. Yeah, you can see kind of like... Um, like that. I, I also like to adjust the um, tip curliness, which really just means like how it points. So it's not all like evenly cut, but you can do it however you want. Also, I'd recommend doing... Um, a variant of thicknesses. All right, so we have that. Um. All right, I'm gonna do a new uh, freehand group and kind of a, a figure out what I want to want to do. I think, yeah, well, so I, I'm trying to do like the front, the fringe. We got the hair, the hair sides, the hair, um, uh, sideburns? Is it sideburn? I don't know what it's called. We got the hair thingies on the side. <laughs> um, yeah. And then. I'll just kind of like pull this in and thicken it up a little bit because I want I want it to kind of like frame the face you know it's usually what the fringe does is frame the face a little bit now it doesn't have to but I like it when it does yeah I'm just kind of maybe right about there I guess mmm Around that off. It looks a little weird. Does it look a little weird to you? Because it looks a little weird to me. Does he like my hat? I like my hat. Science. Alright. Enough about my hat. <laughs> um. And I guess. Maybe thicken it a little bit. Try to make it a little fuller. Eh. Alright, um, now I'm gonna do a procedural hair group. Um, it was based off of the first procedural hair group. So what it means when I say based off of the first one, so if you have a particular shape already set, and then you click on that and then do like a new procedural hair group or freehand group. It'll keep that same shape. So that's what I mean when it's based off of it. So this uh, procedural hair group, which is in the back, is going to be the fringe. Here we go. Rotate around front. Um, and it was based off of the back hair. So I had that selected in my, you know. Let's pull this up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll 
we'll make that a little longer. A little, little, yeah, a little longer. And let's try to round this off because she kind of give me a, like a bowl cut look for a second there. Um, man, this is just like not thick enough in my. I'll widen it. Pull this in a little bit. Yeah, I guess. Ah. Uh. I don't know. Like I say in all of my stuff, it's just all fucking trial and error. Now you see how there's like this, you can see this bald spot in the back, the hair is. Like you can uh, use the base hair to kind of cover that up, which is usually what I would do. Or um, if like for example, this one kind of got in the way with the fringe on the front, uh, you can just go over to the hair, uh, well to the body editor and to the texture, and you just color it in yourself. Which I often do too. Um, you can do multiple layers of hair coming down if you really want, but you don't have to. So this weird shape at the bottom of the body texture is actually uh, the head, the scalp. Um, so you can see it's a little bit colored in there. And then if we do, someone can do it up at the uh, back of the neck here. Yeah, you think I can see it there? There's a little zigzag, so it's like pulled up or some shit, I don't know. Man, I just need you guys to know that how much of a nod of an expert I am. <laughs> how much I just kind of like wing, uh, wang jangle all this. Yeah, it's like that. Also, let me just like cover this in a little bit more because this is making me really uncomfortable. Bam. In fact, we'll just give her like boy shorts. Bootable. Okay. This is sporty. Is she going to the gym with the thigh highs? Look, don't judge. Alright. Um, yeah, but that's basically how I do it, and if I want more on, like, the face, I can just go to the face and do the same thing. Um... Man, this, the... The sideburns are always, like, the biggest pain in the ass. Um... But like all the other hair ones I've been doing recently, if you're interested in this, and it, it should be down in the description below, you can get it off my booth. 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 <laughs> Um, yeah, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, give this video a like if this helped you out. Um, or whatever. And subscribe. Because, because I love you and I want to see more of your face. And if you don't come back to my videos, how will I ever see your face? Alright, bye! <laughs>